Hello everyone and welcome to more Agrarian Skies where we further our magical knowledge. For those of you that are new, Agrarian Skies is a modded survival skyblock by a, someone called Jadigat. It's a cool name. But, as always, for this series, I'm wearing my monocle. Will I ever take it off? No idea. So, today, we are going to continue our magical knowledge and I have done research. So we are going to upgrade our blood altar first. Now, to upgrade our blood altar, we need to go really quickly. So in short, we're going to do this one, this one, and this one today, hopefully, unless I'm really derpy. So, we need to alter upgrade, and we need nine of these blood runes to do it. Now, in order to make a blood rune, um, you need this, um, six stone, two blank slates, and a weak blood orb, which I've been doing. Now, I've also been doing this, one, two, three, four, five, sticking this in, and so we get the exact amount. Um, I actually think I'm making extra now that I realize the reward for the one thing is more, but whatever. We don't care. So, we're going into this thing, going nine and nine, because we need exactly nine. And then stone around, and nine blood shards. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. So now, let's really quickly turn this in. Um... No, we don't actually get one. Here, so we're going to get two runes of sacrifice. And we're not going to use these today, but in a future episode we will be. And this is a greater reward bag. Holy lots of stuff. Um, actually, this is a really, really good reward. Um, not necessarily those, but um, this fishing rod. Look right here. Right here, look at this thing. Two titanium rods. Um, two string and this huge freaking oh my gosh, it's a lot. Titanium is an insane amount, so that's a good reward. Um, if we'll ever use it, I don't know. Only time will tell. So now that we got these nine blood runes and a pickaxe, bum 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 bum, we're gonna take this out, put down our nine for now, and we're just gonna put it like this till I make my real blood old room, and boom, bitty boom boom. So, now we have upgraded. So, that is beautiful. Now, as we knew with our alchemy we've been doing in the last episode, we need to make a better magician, we need a magician's blood orb. And that is made by, um, let me look real quick. Magician's blood orb. Um, that is made by a block of gold in 25,000 life, okay, that's not what we need. What? What did we need? I'll still do this today, but we need, um, we need a something, okay, sacrifice, one minute, we need the, this one, the apprentice, so the apprentice is made by 5,000 life points and an emerald, so, really quickly, I'm gonna go down, get an emerald, and then also get 5,000 life points, because that's a lot, so, be right back. Okay, we are back, and there is 5,800 blood in there, points, life points, and so we can make our new thing. Now, I also want to tell you that this is not going to happen today. A tier 3 altar requires a ton of blood runes, which at the moment is not a ability. Like, these take, um, it took a long, long time for me to make just because of the blood needed, the life points needed. So, today we are, I will actually be um, still making a different upgrade, only we'll be making it that we can um, get chickens and kill the chickens on here, and then get the points instead of me having to manually do this and heal up. So it'll be tons faster, which will make us that we can make the tier 3 altar, which looks sick, um, in the next episode. But, let us make this Magician's Orb, um, or is it Apprentice's Orb, I think it's the Apprentice Orb. So, let's see. Any second now. Has to absorb 5,000 worth of life points though, so could take a little while. I'm not sure, in all honesty. I'm not sure. There was a little bit of a lighting problem also. I had some creepers almost blow up. I'm not sure how that's doing. I'm gonna get poisoned if I stay here too long. Tons of, okay, I'm getting a little too much rubber. Oh, that scared me. 
Oh, there we go. And I can't eat when I'm doing this. It's that boiler that poisons me. Still taking the blood in. Um, let's see how much. Um, okay, it's really close, so it should only need like 400 more. Yep, there we go. Right clicky clicky. And the apprentice's blood orb. And I don't think I can make that. Can I make this with the apprentice? Oh, I can make this with the apprentice. So we're going to still be able to get that um, beginning brewing done now that we've got this going. So we already have simple catalyst and we're making this is a weak binding agent that I'm making right here and let me see here go on weak binding agent and then while that is making we needed to make that potion flask now I forgot how you make the potion flask tier 2 altar 2000 life points how much life points is in here a thousand so I can easily get that right now one two three four five it's 200 each, and I think it's just a this, so boom. So, boom to boom boom. Um, I think this isn't bound to me yet. Now it is. Um, so it should be, should work now. I think you have to right click it the first time you get it, so it's bind, bound to you. So, oh, there we go. Got our potion flask. Very nice. And we got our binding agent. Awesome, guys. And so really quick, let me just take out the simple catalyst we made last episode. Just a refresher, that's how you make a simple catalyst with sugar, two redstone, glowstone, and gunpowder. So, let us go into our book. Manual submit. And do we want a potion flask or do we want a roll bag? Definitely want a roll bag. Okay, so we're up to 17 hearts. Very good. And in it, oh, what is magical wood? No, um, recipe. Oh, that's nice. Very nice, actually. I'm very surprised. An enchant, normal enchanting table, I think. We are going to put that in here for now. I don't really know what to do with magical wood, but I'll look it up in the future. It works perfectly since we're doing magic, but for the time being, we're just going to do this. So, as I said, it's really painful to do, um, get, um, the life essence for, um, by using this orb on myself, so we're going to make a system for chickens. Now, to do that, you need a sacrif- um, this. You need a sacrificial, dagger of sacrifice, um, caution may cause a bad day. So we need to make one of these, and then get the chickens going. And then also, I'm going to explain something really quickly here. No, I'm going to do that later. So, to make this, we are going to need an invar. And to make invar, we need two iron and one nickel, I think. I'm not sure, really sure what ferrous is. I'm pretty sure it's nickel. Um, let me see. Two iron... Is this iron? Yeah, this is iron. And one nickel? Not sure. I mean copper. No, it isn't. It doesn't need to be nickel, I guess. I'm not sure. Still a bit. Okay, where's it tell? Lead, tin, nickel, nickel. Um. I thought Invar was. Man, come on, come on now. Remember stuff. Tin and ferrous metal, and ferrous is nickel. It is nickel. Oh, I remember how to make it now. I'm sorry. I'm being very dirty because I haven't done this in a while. So, we'll still want this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to want. Is this nickel? I f yes. We're going to want four of that. So, what we're going to do is we are going to go over to our handy dandy smeltery already has iron in it, but, you know, what's the harm in adding some more? So, when we melt the iron and nickel together, it should give us invar in this thing. And we already have invar. Man, that is so derpy. Holy crap. Um, but yeah, that's how we make invar in case I haven't showed you. Um, <laughs> I can't, can't believe I already had it. But, um, 
But we will make our sword now that I thought I saw something there. Whatever. So we will now make our sword. Okay, that's just the TNT thing that scared me for a second. So now we have our Invar going in there. We have our Invar sword. And where did our apprentice, our apprentice orb is upstairs, I think. Here, let me sleep the night off. So I think our apprentice orb is upstairs. Oh, what was that? Okay, so we're gonna head upstairs. Get a little carriage juice in us. Go on out. Run over here. Get our apprentice orb. Go like thisy this. And get our dagger of sacrifice. So, in short, any chickens or anything on this altar, and we go yeah 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 on them, and they die, they will add to our life essence. I don't, don't need this. It'll add to our life essence of that. Now, also with this altar, you can upgrade it. Although we're only in level th um, two, and next episode we'll be upgrading to level three. Um, I'll still show you how that works. So we have these runes of sacrifice. So now, I'm not sure how much... Now, for instance, pretend a chicken was um, 200 life points. Um, this will make it that it's like 225, and then now, now that I have two, it'll make it like 250. So this is like a little... These are like little boosts that um, we get from that. And let's see, I'm gonna make a chicken. And if you guys don't remember from like, this is probably like the first thing in episode, how to make a chicken, I'm going to show you again, because we are going to be using this over and over and over and over, and don't worry, it's silent because blocks. So, you put nine arrows, I'm not even sure what mod does this, but we get chickens, so let us go upstairs and see if our thing works. It should work. Everything I know depends on it working. So we're gonna put these away because we don't want them anymore. There is currently zero life points in our thing. We need to make it that the chickens can't escape. Um, so derpy. Um, let's see here. So we're gonna put this. This, 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 this. Oh, and I know, I know what we can do. They can't get past half slabs. So we're gonna get, chop this off. So we can actually hit them. I was like, how are we gonna hit them with normal? So, boom, boom, boom. I hear a chicken. Chicken? Oh, there's a chicken spawned on the grass. I was like, I don't remember spawning a chicken. Okay. You're noisy and annoying. Okay. So. We currently, as I said, have zero life points. Now we have seven chickens, which we are going to... Oh, oh, man, the derp, derpiness is real. Okay, so we're seven chickens. We are going to put right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, get them. There we go, and look, we have a nice little pool of stuff, plus free chicken. You know, you can't go wrong with free chicken. So, now that we check it, we have 2,100 life points. Oh my goodness, like, that is um, 10 hearts of my life, and that was pretty, really fast. So, next episode, we're definitely going to be able to build our tier 3 blood altar super fast. But guys, due to my busy schedule... This is going to be it for the episode, and I know we're going kind, of, kind of slow, but once we get past this, this is going to be easy. Now, this is a bound sword, super nice, and then these. this is when we start getting into bound armor, super awesome. And we haven't even gotten to Thomcraft yet, so I'll probably be continuing with magic. I might go into something else, but next episode we will be doing um, Tier 3 Blood Altar so I can finish off... Um, we need larger orbs to get the Magician's Orb. But guys, thanks so much for watching. Now, please, 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 please leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed this series. Um, I really like your feedback. But, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.